Hello friends, my name is Shrine, and it's time for more of Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel Let's Play. And last time, Bro showed his true colors, he is actually C, which is really scary. He tried to assassinate the Chancellor, might have succeeded, rushed to urgent care, and a lot of bad things are going on in the capital. Evita gave Class 7 a front row view. Let's continue onward. It is. I'm certain of it. Phantasmagoria is an arcane art known to the Witch of the Abyss, capable of showing scenes and visions across great distances. The woman you know as Misty is something of a sister of mine. Wait, the Witch of the Abyss? Are you saying that's who Misty really is? I feel like any moment I'm going to wake up in my bed to find I just dreamt all this. If only it was. But we have no choice but to accept that it's real. Well, we'll have plenty of time to worry about that later. Right now, we've got two more pressing concerns. The Chancellor's been shot, and Heimdall's been occupied. Oh, no. <sighs> I hope my father's all right. Damn. Please, let St. Astraea be safe. That gargantuan airship, those Panzer Soldats. I have no doubts that they were bankrolled and manufactured by the Noble Faction. I saw them there. My old family. All this time, I never knew what happened to them. Now, there they are. Fee. So you know those men? I remember meeting them briefly in the Grail. They're former members of Zephyr. Used to be one of the continent's strongest Jaeger Corps. It looks like the noble faction hired them to do their dirty work. Just like the Imperial Liberation Front. On top of that... It looks like our guess about C's identity was right on the money. But I don't know what that cool blue thing was he flew off in. Crow, why did you do it? On behalf of the Student Council, I'd like to ask all of you to remain calm. I'm sure you all experienced that strange vision during the broadcast, and the principal has an announcement he'd like to make about it. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Principal Van Dyke speaking. I'm sorry to say there's a strong likelihood that what you just saw is really happening in Heimdall. However, it's important to note that we don't yet have confirmation or any official word on the situation. I'm doing all I can to find out what's going on, but in the meantime, I ask for your patience and understanding. So all the other classes saw it too. How could she use a national radio broadcast to show something to just us and no one else? Is that even possible? Looks like it is, Reen. For her, it is. With little difficulty at that. Yo, Sarah here. Who's... Nightheart? An emergency meeting. Right away? What? Of course. I'll be right there. Yeah, understood. I'll meet you in front of the main gate. Alright, class. I've got to step out for a bit to take care of some business. But no matter what happens, you are not to leave this building. Is that clear? Something serious is going on again. What's going on? I'm not sure, but it's obvious something strange is happening. Can this day even get stranger than it already is? What's wrong, guys? I hear something to the west, and it's getting closer. Several armored cars are approaching, and it sounds like they have some of those armored suits with them. You've got to be kidding. He has some supernatural hearing up there. First Heimdall, now Trista. Are they planning on taking over the Academy? Hmm, sure looks that way. Notable members from both factions have kids enrolled here, and there are plenty of important people like the principal. So either they're looking to preemptively protect their own or take the others hostage. Could be either, even both. This is absurd. Whatever their intentions, we can't allow them to harm innocent people. Do you think that's where the instructors went? To try and fight them off? Those giant armors tore through the army's tanks like they were nothing more than toys. Our instructors are strong, but with what they're up against, I'm worried they might not be enough. I'm not sure how much help we'd be, or if we'll even be able to put a dent in them. But right now, they need all the support they can get. 
They need class seven. I'm with you. You have my sword. I didn't really wake up today planning to fight enemies that can gut a tank. Me neither, Elliot. Me neither. None of us did. But this battle came to us, so we'll draw the line here. I'll do everything I can to defend this school and its students. Duh. I take no issue with humbling those that befoul the spirit of true nobility. Yes, I'll help too. <laughs> I wonder how Lamy will match up against those giants. We haven't got a lot of time, so let's move out. All right, let's do this. Oh, Eris and Patrick. Elisa? Why are you all so flustered? What's going on? Ferris? You're still here? <laughs> what in Adios' name is going on here? I saw the instructors leaving the academy through the front gate. Oh, they already left? Patrick, you have to stay here. You can't let them take over this building. Work with the other students as best you can. Schwarzer? Wh what are they? All the townspeople. I'm just a... What in Adios' name is going on? I... I heard a war started in Heimdall. Don't worry, everyone. You'll be safe here. We'll show you to the auditorium. You can bunker down there. Are you serious? Toa, George! Oh, close the gate on us. You need to get out. Rain! What are you doing here? Y you aren't... You're not planning on going to help the instructors, are you? That's exactly what we're planning. I'd bring shame to the Arsade name if I were to willingly allow such insolence and dishonor to fester. We're not gonna push our luck, but we want to give them every little bit of support we can. You can't be serious. If that video's anything to go by, you'd be going up against some seriously dangerous weapons. The chances of you overcoming a force like that is... Well, I don't even want to say. 2.8%. Are you really sure this is what you want to do? We are. This academy has given us a lot. We've made friends here. Learn to better ourselves. And we'll be damned if we're going to let them just take that away! You guys... Oh boy. The instructors told me not to let you pass if you tried to come through here. Alright. As student council president, I hereby grant you permission to head through. But don't forget, you're still students. This may be a military academy, but that doesn't mean you're soldiers. If you ever feel like your lives are in danger, even a little bit. You get out of there, okay? Run away. Surrender. I, I don't care what you do. Just please, please don't die out there. Promise me. Of course. Oh, Toa Sweet. She's like, promise me you don't die out there. We promise. At least make sure you've got everything you need before you go then. I've got my tools on me, so if you guys need any last minute modifications to your Arcus units, I'll take care of it. Thank you, George. Oh. Team. Who should I pick? I don't know. Pick Gaius. Ilium. I can't pick Crow. I'm sad. So sad. Emma. Pretty much my higher level ones. Arceus might be okay. B and the Lauren. Just in case. We oh, wouldn't pick stayed here. I will do what I feel is right, regardless of the path my father or bore the What? I will do what I feel is right, regardless of the path my father or brother choose to walk. Hm. Let's go and do what needs to be done. Those insolent fools don't deserve a shred of mercy. It feels like things are falling apart around us, but that's why we need to remain calm keep calm. All the skills we've honed in our field studies were meant for times like these, right? What are we waiting for? The instructors could use our help. I'm not entirely sure how we'll be able to stand up against those new weapons, but this isn't time to be sizing up our chances. The instructors have already left, and we need to hurry if we intend to back them up. Alright, check out my gear.
They took their accessories off. Okay. For me. Oh, hers is not ready. Not to work. She also needs help. Okay, just them. They took everything off them. Ooh, judgment bolt. Let's give Millie something nice. What does her Igus give her? Needle shoot, earth pulse, lacrest, adamante shield, and ancient glyph. Oh, I love ancient glyph. Fence. Delay earth arts. I mean, stop the delay on earth arts. Oh, I need some tiara. Maybe cast? Make this go a little faster? I love how there's so many things to choose from. That's pretty cool. Give her cast too. Alright, I think we're good. I think it's wonderful. Let me do a quick save. Go way back. Way back. Alright, I think we're good. Unless you can work on my weapons. Well, I can't believe it. He was one of the terrorists all this time. Now he's gone and shot the Chancellor. And on top of that, he's launched an offensive against the Academy. Still coming to grips with it myself. Everything happened just that one day. Now I think back on it, he was always around whenever something major went down, wasn't he? Even as far back as Summer Festival in Heimdall, when that big terrorist attack happened. I thought something seemed fishy with all that stuff that happened in Ruhr. But I guess with the urgency of the situation, I didn't think too hard about it at the time. It still feels like it can't be real. Like this must be some gross mistake. I kind of believe Crow is one of them. I saw him confess it himself. The two of us first met on the field study last year. He was easy to get along with, but there was something about him that seemed a bit hollow somehow. It didn't take long before Angie just went up and said it to his face. <laughs> they really didn't get along very well at first. Still, the more field studies we went on together, the closer we all got. How did it come to this? Oh well. He does may fight now the enemies at our gates. And I don't intend to let them have their way. We're going to protect this academy no matter what it takes. When we find Crow, I want to hear it straight from him. I want to know what he's trying to accomplish by doing this. Green. Okay. Do what you can. This girl's friend and yours brought behind you all the way. Thanks. Alright, let's do this. I'm pumped. I'm scared. No. <laughs> I want you to promise me one thing. Don't throw your lives away no matter what. I believe in all of you. And I know you'll be able to keep everyone safe. We're close friends, but we can't do anything to help. So please fight for our sake too. And leave. Let's go. There are dangers greater than anything we've faced before just beyond this gate. Really ready? I hope so. Let's go. Oh, let's go. We'll be fine, right? May Adios be with you. And just a little speculation from me, but looking at their design, you should aim for their joints. Take them apart at their weakest points and you might have a chance. I see. Then let's pray our aim is true. I... I know I'm repeating myself at this point, but don't go doing anything crazy. You hear? Still, I know in my heart how much you want to protect this school. So do what you think you have to do. Not just for us, but so that... Whatever ends up happening, you'll know you gave the best you had to give. That's good. Time to do battle. That's crazy that Crow was against him the whole time. Damn. They sure didn't waste any time. It seems the battle's already underway. There. Toward the west exit. 
Let's move. In the middle of Trista? Or right outside Trista? Oh wow. Impossible! Are you even human? Oh, I'm as human as they come. Can't speak for the principal, though. Or Instructor Beatrix, for that matter. I'll say. Our decorated veterans are putting the younger generation to shame. Now, now. There's no need to go around flattering old ladies, Nightheart. Oh, well, our school nurse has a big old gun. That's kind of scary. That's real scary. Ah, no need to be so modest, Beatrix. I don't know of any other old ladies who could reduce an armored car to a smoldering wreck that quickly. <laughs> Says the man who cut one in half. <laughs> Always nice to share a little outing with my wonderful colleagues. And while we're at it, since when were the two of you such whizzes with all those high-level arts? Especially you, Thomas. When did you leave the library long enough to become so disturbingly proficient with an Orville staff? <laughs> well, you know me. I've always been rather taken with the mages of the Middle Ages. Th they're monsters! Sir, we don't stand a chance against them! Ah, stop your whining! They did this? By themselves? Oh yes, they did. They're amazing. I almost feel sorry for the soldiers. Um, just who is Instructor Beatrix? She was a colonel in the Imperial Army. They used to call her the Reviver. Heard she saved Sarah's life once even. Yeah, she's kind of a legend. In her days with the Medical Corps, she'd show up in war zones to treat the critically injured. She'd patch them all up, friend or foe. And woe to anyone or anything who tried to stop her. Wow, no wonder she's so unflappable. You know, maybe they don't need our help after all. No, it's not over yet. Spoke too soon, Elliot. Spoke too soon. Looks like they've got some reinforcements coming in. Cease your fire. There's no need to increase our casualties any further. If they're fielding monsters, we might as well call in our own. <laughs> Here they come. My, <laughs> they've certainly brought quite a few of those. They're boasting some impressive armor. Looks like they've been designed with integrated arts resistance, too. Hmm. What to do, what to do. You think we can really beat all these things? Well, I don't see another way out of this, do you? We need to hold this location until the Imperial Army's reinforcements arrive, no matter what. <laughs> Time to see if the Army's finest up-and-coming officer has it where it counts. Same to you, Miss A-Rank Bracer. My, my! You two really do make quite the dynamic duo. Shut, Shut up, up, Thomas! Thomas. All right, Palestine and Nightheart are taking point. Let's give them some cover. Yes, sir. Now, let's see which parts have that arts resistance shield. They certainly seem to be holding their own. Yeah, but look how many they're up against. And the enemy's still got strength to spare. But the instructors don't have anything to fall back on if the enemy gets the upper hand. Let's go. They need backup, and we're here to give it to them. Right. I'm not sure how much support we'll be able to provide them. At the very least, we should be able to keep one of those things busy. If we can give them that much more of a fighting chance, I'll do it. <laughs> that won't be necessary. What? Sharon? Allow me to handle things here. I'll be sure to give Lady Sarah and her colleagues the opening they need to clinch their victory. Huh? She's fast. I figured you'd show up sooner or later. Oh my! 
Steel wires. These new model engines certainly are quite the step up. I'm impressed. Still, all the power in the world doesn't mean much if you're all tied up. The pleasure of being bound, vulnerable, and exposed is a thrill like no other. Would you care for a little demonstration? I'd say you won't feel a thing, but that would be lying. So you finally dropped the act, huh? Looks like you've even picked up a few new tricks since our little dust-up two years ago. But I guess I wouldn't expect any less from Sharon Kruger, Ouroboros' enforcer number nine. Or should I just call you the Severing Chains? I'm currently on leave from that position. Right now, I'm but a humble maid in the service of the Reinford family. And no matter who's pulling the strings, anyone who tries to harm Lady Elisa or her friends will have to get through me first. That's fine by me. But I think you and I need to sit down and have a nice long talk after all this is over. I'll bring the snacks. Oh, look at them go! Are you just going to stand there and let the ladies run laps around you, Major? Of course not. I was just about to say we should focus our assault on one and hit it with everything we've got. Boys will be boys. Oh my, I feel like a mere mortal walking among titans. Okay, I think I got these guys figured out. I'm gonna nullify their art shield and capabilities. <laughs> you sure know how to show a guy a good time. Vulcan? Oh no. Huh. You got some real fight in you. I can respect that. Still, there's only so much you can do against these soul dots. Let's see how long you can hold out, shall we? We shall see. You're a military academy. Let's see how much fight you've really got in you. Oh, we have plenty. We have plenty. So, Elisa, just who the heck is Sharon? Don't ask me! I want to know just as much as the rest of you! I'm pretty sure my mother knows her background, but she never told me. Still, now they may have at least a chance of victory. Though not a great one by any stretch. Still, we've seen those suits demolish battle tanks in just a few hits. And every second we hesitate... You're right. If we joined the fight, their chances would be that much better. Sound. What do you guys hear now? It's faint, but I can hear it. No way. But but that's coming from the opposite direction of the capital. Lammy! Hiya, Lammy. What do you see? We've got two of those armors coming in fast! A blue one and a green one! <laughs> well, they certainly don't seem to be holding back on our account. Are they trying to catch the town in a pincer attack? The instructors and Sharon have their work cut out for them with those five. Looks like we're the first and only line of defense then. Yeah. Get ready, everyone! We are gonna have to fight. Ooh, I can save. Definitely will save. Slot or oh, old slot. Next, I'm going to end this episode here so it won't be too long. I'm sure battle will take a while. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this game. And have an awesome day. Bye.